Hello, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we examine one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. We're gonna finish our series on the Export Tool tab today, and we're gonna talk about the Export Queue. Now, the Export Queue has at least one feature in it that most people don't know about, but we uh, are going to get there. We're gonna look at our export recipe. We've decided to export this as an sRGB uh, full size. If we take a look at our summary, it tells us it's about 27 megabytes. That's what I want, cool, great. And then I have two options here, the queue and the history. So with the queue, if I'm exporting one or five or 20 images, when I hit export, it shows me the images that are being exported in the order and gives me a progress bar. So I know how far along my process is going. So let's say that I'm doing not just one, but let's say that I'm doing a web base and I'm going to export several images. I can hit export and then we're going to see all of those show up and we're gonna see how many seconds are left and see the order that they are coming out and what size we expect them to be. All right, so that's a pretty straightforward idea that the export queue just gives me the queue of the images being exported, cool. But what a lot of people don't know is that we have a history option. Have you ever exported an image and realized a week later, two weeks later, that you need to resubmit that image? Somebody lost it, the email didn't get sent, it didn't post correctly, or whatever. But you've already done the work on the image and you already know the exact way that you want it to look. Well, the history maintains a large group of images going back months of the images you have exported. They just go back farther and farther and farther uh, in time. I can come to any of these, reselect it, and then I can reprocess that image exactly as I processed it before, meaning that you never need to go back and find an image, which one did I export, what recipe did I use. I can just find it and reprocess it in the exact same way, which is really, really powerful. Uh, you can clear the history, but I never do. Clearing the history uh, doesn't save really any significant RAM on your machine or anything like that. It's just something that removes a piece of functionality. So I never clear the history, but eventually it does stop in its backward progression. Uh, for me, it's 262 images, but it'll be slightly different for you. All right, that's what I've got for you today. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.